Uh, Miami and South Florida is a global gateway for businesses, investment, travel, and tourism, and residential living. Uh, also, Miami is the business capital of South and Central America. It used to be a, a second home, mar home market, now it's a primary home market. Uh, uh, I've, I've been speaking about Miami for the past five years, and currently uh, Miami is booming right now, uh, and city is experiencing uh, unprecedented growth. Yeah, and certainly we can talk about it from a residential side, but I think also kind of fascinatingly is what that means from a commercial side and an office space side. What are you seeing in terms of businesses looking to build out their footprints, especially given the fact that so much of the conversation this year has been that COVID is going to cut back on demand for that type of real estate? Uh, we're building uh, office building uh, next to city center, Miami City, uh, in the Brick Hill. And we have a lot, uh, 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 we're talking to many uh, international uh, companies, and we have a big demand for uh, commercial uh, office space. Uh, it's David Faber. You know, obviously benefiting a great deal from your exposure in Florida. I wonder, though, you are also opening a uh, Amman residence in New York City on the old Crown Building at Fifth Avenue and 57th Street. Um, is that not going to be a success, perhaps in part because of some of the trends that Morgan just described? New York has always been uh, also going to be in New York. It's always come back, and uh, uh, we building product which not exists in the market. You have the best address, 57 and Fifth Avenue. You have a uh, unique building, Crown Building, uh, built 1921. And we have a man-branded residence, only 22. Because people are talking about luxury, but many of the other buildings have 100 apartments and more. We only have 22 apartments, uh, branded Amman apartment. We have amazing uh, also facility. Uh, we have a great spa, which is 22,000 square feet, three Italian, Japanese, French restaurant, just club. This product, it's very unique and not exists in the market. We already pre-sold more than 50%. So uh, we feel uh, good in New York because we don't have uh, any, any uh, it's a, we don't have any type of building which is going to be built in the future like uh, Amman in New York. Mm. And you did just mention Amman. In general, I'm given, given the fact that you do have these Amman properties across the globe, what are you seeing in terms of hospitality trends, uh, especially in the midst of this pandemic right now? Amman Design, we was lucky because Amman Design with social distancing, uh, not because of situation right now, it's because of Amman DNA. So uh, one situation happened, if I give you the number, in 2020, all Amman resorts in America and Caribbean getting running with a better number than 2019. Huh. Uh, this was also a surprise for us, but this is a fact. And uh, people traveling sometimes when they were uh, like eight hours by car to come to Amangiri, Amangani, and um, when Caribbean opened, they were fully booked on Amanera and Amanyara. So the resorts, which is close to American region, uh, to America, and in America doing very well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.